What company did you start with? Uh, actually, I got really blessed and uh, because of my wakeboarding and of course my old man, uh, I got signed with WWE. Okay. And um, I was so blessed to be able to train and learn the fundament fundamentals the right way with WWE with, you know, just everything proper. And uh, that was a great experience. Good, good coaches, Norman Smiley, Dr. Tom, Steve Kearns, Dusty Rhodes. I mean, the legends were all there. Did you know Dusty from your younger days too? Yes, I've known Dusty, Steve Kern since I was probably five, four years old. I mean, I remember going over to Dusty's house all the time for dinners and sitting on this kitchen counter and just goofing around with the kids, Cody and Dustin and all them. So they've all been a family because with pro wrestling, it's a big family. We all stick together. It's a tight niche group. And of course, you know, my dad lived in Florida and a lot of the guys lived in Florida. So they would all come over for barbecues, go on the lake, ride the jet skis. And we, of course, as a little kid, I'm just walking around. There's Dusty Rhodes, there's Steve Kearns, you know, just all the legends. It was crazy. Bugs me McGraw. I mean, it was Who was your favorite group. growing up? Whew. Like, at what era would you say favorite? Well, let's say the late 80s, early 90s. Okay, um... Because you're 31 now, right? Mm-hmm. See, I was a... I loved Ash and Smash, the demolition. I just... I just... They were different. They were something unique. They were one of my favorites. And then, of course, Rick Rude. Ravishing Rick Rude was absolutely one of my favorites. And every once in a while, I try to imitate some of his moves, some of his charisma, some of the way he talks to them ladies. Woo! And you got the abs going like him, I will give you that. <laughs> and what led to your uh, unfortunate release from uh, WWE? Well, I, uh, crazy thing is I end up tearing my other knee. ACL, PCL, MCL. And um, I got, and it sucked because the, the night before I got hurt, I was supposed to debut me and uh, Xavier Woods. We were going to be the next little tag team that they were going to push in WWE. So I was getting ready. This was my last night in developmental. We're, we're about to drop the tag team titles, the development tag team titles. And, you know, the next day I'm flying out to go to, um, I forgot what pay-per-view me and Xavier were going to debut, but the next day I'm literally supposed to fly out. And uh, I was doing a, a double corkscrew crossbody off the top, and just something went wrong, and leg went out, and snap. That was mm -hmm. all she wrote. And I, I remember sitting in there and it wasn't because of the pain I was kind of crying. It was because I knew that my career could be done. Because in this business, if they got a storyline for you, and if you don't go out and do that, if you get hurt, that storyline's gone. It's not like you're going to come back be healthy and they're like, oh, you're going to jump back right where you are. No, they've already moved past. And that was, that was a real hard thing to deal with, knowing that it wasn't because of my actions, it wasn't because of my work or anything like that. It was just, I got hurt and, you know, when I came back, there was nothing for me. So, you know, I got released. And which I also think that was a blessing because I've been able to wrestle all around the world. Do you see yourself uh, getting another shot in WWE? You're still fairly young and in good shape. I mean, that's the goal. You know, that's what I eat and breathe and sleep. I wouldn't be lacing up my boots if I didn't believe I want to play in the Super Bowl. Who would not want to be in the Super Bowl? And the WrestleMania is the Super Bowl. And that's at WWE. And that's where my dreams, that's where my goals, that's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it back there. I'm not going to take no for an answer. You know, I've been busting my ass. I've been working through industries, I've been broke, I've been rich, I've been all that. But I'm not going to give up until I lace up those boots, walk down that curtain, look up there, see my dad, pray to my uncle, and kick some ass.